Um, I think the one that was most math intensive was this one. Uh, that's, uh, I think, why I actually separated it out rather than holding it until the um, end of the chapter. So let me uh, pick some of the questions here to go through. Um, so I think this, you, uh, so if uh, it looks like it's a question that you can get mostly from reading, uh, basically multiple choice questions, I will, uh, I don't think uh, you need my help to go through. There's a hint about them. And you should review, you should, you know, um, I do say these things to be helpful, not to be tricky. So <laughs> um, use the hint. Um, I don't even know if you use the hint or not. There's no point deduction. So it's just a button that you press to say to yourself that I want to see the hint. So let's see. Uh, where's the calculation? Um, no, this is uh, just a reading question. When you read the section, it'll tell you how much it ranges. I thought this was more calculation intensive. So, well, this is one question where it's not so calculation intensive, but it might be a place where uh, uh, this is a conceptual physics. So some of you might look at this and just not know what, um, what you should go from here. Um, on the other hand, some of you uh, might have had some practice at combining numbers in your math class to get the right answer. And this is one question where you can do that to get the right answer. So uh, let me just uh, um, do a modeling of how I answer a question like this. One of the thing I see is, so this is me after having done the reading, I've read about position, velocity, acceleration. I've read about average velocity, average acceleration some kinematics formulas, so all of that is somewhere in my head, and now I'm reading this. A bowling ball rolls along a straight track with an average velocity um, of 40 centimeters per second for 16 seconds. How far does the bowling ball roll in this time? And the first thing that triggers one, one of the bits of the memory is the phrase, average velocity. I remember that average velocity was carefully defined in the textbook. So that's going to be used at some point. It's the displacement over the duration of time. So I have that, that's what I'm gonna be using. And then I look at the text, the text of the uh, question to see if there's any information that matches with that. So I'm told 40 centimeters per second, oh, that is the average velocity. And I'm told 16 seconds. And so that's a duration of time. And how far, okay, so that's where the question is asking for the, sorry, trying to switch back. That's where the question is asking for the displacement the delta x. So what I need to do here is a little bit of algebra, which I realize uh, some people are rusty on. <laughs> so this is time to get a little bit of practice. Um, so the way I would go about here is I would multiply both sides by delta t. My goal here is to get rid of the delta t, the denominator, so that I can get delta x by yourself. And what I'm remembering from my earlier algebra class is that whenever I do the same thing to both sides of the equation, I'm not actually changing the equation. So this delta t cancels this delta t. So I get this formula, which I think it's also in the textbook. Delta x is equal to average velocity times delta t. So, oh yeah, so this is what I mean, I guess you could just combine the two numbers. 40 centimeters per second times 16 seconds. So you multiply them. Can I do that in my head? Maybe four times a 16, that's a 64. Um, so it's a 640 centimeters. So question asks the answer in meters. So 6.4 meters. Let's see how right or wrong. I am <laughs> submit, and there you go, it's correct, because, um, oh, 
Let me get rid of the annotations. They're kind of in the way right now. Clear all drawings. Um, so yeah, and you can also use the hint. The hint links you to the section where um, where all these are covered. And really for these calculation intensive questions, I do, um, I've been trying to find uh, only, I've been trying to match up the homework questions I ask you with the examples that are worked out in the textbook. Um, it could it take you a while to work through the example and not all the examples are necessarily clear, but it's, uh, um, so my goal is not to just leave you hanging there by yourself. Um, there are some examples you can look at. Um, it is still mathematical. It's more math than what a lot of you are comfortable with, but once again, you're not just out there by yourself. There is something you can look at to see if you can model your calculation thinking after. Uh, let me see if I can do one more question out of here. Um, let's see, I could do that. I want to see if there's a harder question that I should do instead. Um, I might do that uh, as an example of how to follow a hint. Um, but, uh, okay, so I think this question is actually one thing I want to do. Did I, uh, I might have actually uh, done this as a lecture video. Um, uh, but for now, let me do this. Uh, let me do question nine um, as an example of kind of following the hint. And let me come back to question 10 and actually do this one. I might be able to find the video, but either way, why not? I think I have time. So question nine, it, this is what it asks. If your reaction time is some number of seconds in the time it takes for it to react, how far does an object drop when dropped from rest? And uh, I guess this kind of physics question, unless you've seen it before, it can be very difficult to uh, start. It, the part of the difficulty is how much information you are given to start with. And uh, this is a, and so, so that's why there's a hint. <laughs> and the hint says, review the calculation examples in this, in particular example, uh, calculating displacement of an accelerating object. All right, so let me do that. I'll click here. That'll take me to the section. And uh, I, in the past, I tried to link to the example directly, and those links were very fragile. It didn't hold. So I, uh, instead of tell you what examples to look at, calculating displacement of an accelerating object, dragsters. Oh. So let me scroll down to the example, calculating distance, uh, drag star. Calculating displacement of an accelerating object, dragsters. So it says dragsters can achieve average accelerations of this, okay, given the acceleration, accelerate at uh, rate um, for 5.56 seconds, so in given time, how far does it travel? So I hope you recognize that there's a match in what type of information is given, duration of time, and the acceleration in the homework question as this one, as that one. Um, so in the homework question, you had duration and acceleration. So um, what method they use here is the same method you would use uh, back at the homework question. So it says draw a sketch. And you know you should read through in detail. Let me just speed through right now. Like uh, so, it does all the derivation, and I guess it simplifies the derivation down to this one formula: displacement is equal to one half acceleration times time duration squared. Um, so, so after having read it through carefully and convincing myself that all this still applies to my situation, now I'm going to use that formula that's derived in that example. So the formula is the displacement. Uh, let me use the letter D in this case. Is equal to one half times acceleration. Here, let me use a G times time squared. So I have all the numbers for acceleration and time. So I can plug in the numbers. One half 
acceleration, 10 meter per second squared. So you should keep track of those units. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'll just leave that off here. And then you have time squared, 0 0.24 seconds squared. So 0 0.24 seconds squared. And when you work through all the units, what you will realize is that seconds squared cancel and you, all you are left with is unit of meters. So uh, this one, I don't think I can do it in my head. So let me bring out a calculator and do this on a calculator. Um, so I have 0 0.24 squared. That's 0 0.0576. And let me just do the rest of the multiplication times 10 divided by two. So 0 0.288 meters. Now, if you put in 0 0.288 here, you will find that you get the answer wrong. Um, it's because, <laughs> it, it's because um, uh, I forgot the unit. This 0 0.288 is in meters. Watch the units in the answer, please, and uh, answer in correct units. 0 0.288 meters, when you go through the unit conversion, it's a 28.8 centimeter. So that's what the correct answer should be. Hopefully it says it's correct. If not, it'll be embarrassing. <laughs> okay, good. Um, oh, I think the video I recorded, that I remember recording is actually here. This is uh, where I made it available. So yeah, you can read it there. Um, that'll, sorry, so I guess I didn't have to do this, but, <laughs> but I guess, um, you, yeah, so, but that's one way the hints are meant to be useful. I try to point you directly to the uh, resources that are directly relevant to that question. And, you know, may, oftentimes I link you to the whole section, and that's frankly because I feel all of that section is relevant to that question. <laughs> so I think for question 10, okay, so this is the video I recorded. I linked it directly in the assignment. So you can watch that from there. I have a feeling it's kind of a long video. Yeah, so it's a six minute, seven minute long video. So you should watch it. It will walk you through that particular um, rather involved question. Um, yeah, so since there's a, that video, I guess I won't uh, use up your time here. Um, yeah, and this video, I'm pretty sure it's a, just the same. Oh, wait. Huh. Okay, well, uh, I don't remember recording that, but uh, read that, <laughs> uh, watch that video, it should help. Uh, I think, it, so actually, the, um, uh, I recorded these videos last semester, I think, um, the last or the fall semester, um, that's the first time I had enough time. Uh, I got, so okay, this is the reason I recorded those videos. I was getting all these questions from students who are struggling with these actually fairly difficult questions, and after I answered the same questions about two, three times, I realized there's gonna be about a dozen more people in the class who are just too shy to ask questions. So uh, I, so those three videos, it probably took me about two, three hours to make it. And that's part of um, uh, what I'm hoping to do, teaching this class over and over to uh, make those additional materials that will help you get through some of these materials that can be challenging and difficult. So if you're struggling with any of these questions, ask me, um, and it'll, at some point, it'll help me, it will help me realize that I need to ha ha make additional resources to help you with that particular question. Um, and in any case, I'll be answering your question.